what's the difference between moving the skin or moving the fascia? The difference is massive. So a lot of the time I'm being asked about how do you know you're moving the fascial tissue underneath? How do you know you're connecting with that? And this seems like a very strange example, but imagine a sock that's been through the dryer and it's made of wool and the fascia is a little bit like this. So if you're just stroking the surface, which is the skin, you get a little bit of movement. You can see that the fibres move a little bit um, on the sock. But if you pre-tension it, so you pin it at one end and then create tension through the whole thing and pin it, you're creating a stretch through it and opening it out. And it's the same with when you're working on the fascia here. So let's work through here, for example. So if you pin this section here, you're working the tissue just underneath the skin and that's what you're moving. You're not rolling over the top of the skin. You're going for the tissue that's just underneath and creating that opening sensation. Remember to comment face map below so that you can get an idea of what this area is to do with. I'll give you a clue. It's the head. And if you've got any questions, please be sure to comment below.